The art of search. All of the world's information, pretty much, is connected on the internet already. And just everything's available to you just right at your fingertips. It's so powerful. But what we have to do is we have to learn how to unlock that incredible power that's available to us. So when I'm working with students, they get stuck. They run into a brick wall and they, they're creatively constipated. They can't get an idea out. So I say to them, you know, have you looked up this thing, this artist, this designer, this building, this gadget? Have you done any? Yeah, I have. Show me what you search. And they just type in the most basic things and that's all they get. What else did you search? Oh, that's it. So oftentimes I would sit down with them. I would say, try searching this. And three or four searches later, we find exactly what they need. So to, to survive in the 21st century, to survive and thrive in the knowledge economy, you have to learn how to learn. So that's what the art of search is. So Emily, uh, Molly, take it away. What are we doing? The thing that I'm trying to search for is finding your passion. So I need to make a thumbnail that will live on YouTube and will be the cover of a video that is finding your passion. Ooh, finding your passion. Okay. So the context here is this. We have to make thumbnails all the time, you guys. And it's sometimes very difficult to find a singular image that communicates this idea without being too on the nose, okay? To not be cliche. So how do we begin finding this? And Molly, you drive me and let's see okay. what happens here. What should we search? I mean, when I think of passion, the first thing that I think of is fire. But fire. maybe we should just search passion. Okay, I'm gonna type in passion. Just, that's okay. Yeah? Yeah. So the first thing I want you to do here is type really slowly, really slowly, because oftentimes Google will tell you with their predictive text or typing what most people look for, passion fruit, passion planner, passion fruit Drake, passionate. So should we look at passion? Yeah, passion. Okay. And you guys follow along. I'm gonna show you a process for you to find and find images and find ideas and use Google as a collaborative creative partner. This should be very valuable to you guys. So here we go. What do you want me to do next? So go to images. Okay, mistake number one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Set up. Uh, All right, let me. Uh, All right, wait, wait, look at synonyms. Let me take that back. No, no, no. Okay. First, let's just try to find what the word means. Okay. Because oftentimes we don't understand the meaning of words. So it's right here. It tells you strong and barely controllable emotion. Mm. Does that sound like the word we're looking for? Strong uh. and barely controllable emotion. That's the number one definition. A man of impetuous passion. And the second one, the suffering and death of Jesus, the passion of the Christ. Interesting. So what do you I think? Yeah, number one. That's it? That's what it sounds like? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, finding your passion. Finding strong. your strong and barely controllable emotion. Yeah. Okay, let's look at images then. That's the second thing we're going to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to scan in here. And here's my rule of thumb. Like three flicks of the screen, if you don't find what you're looking for, you've typed in the wrong word. So let's do it. So we're wrong word. <laughs> Whoa, I should turn on the uh, NC-17. I know. I got to make this safe for TV. Okay. Are uh, we seeing what we need to see? Oh, no. Matches are yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's take <laughs> the a The fire. Take, so there's matches. fire. There's a heart that's on fire. That's two yeah, images Yeah, but that's like together. two. Uh, and then there's matches igniting your passion. Sparkler, more hearts, a lot of fire and passion. What's mm -hmm. with the flaming tripod thing? That's... You know where he is? He's uh, taking the picture lava. at, uh, at uh, Active Volcano. Volcano's good for passion, right? No, not really. Well, right. we're, we're now we kind of seem to be a little stuck here. What else can we look for? You want to look at art? Oh. No. Okay. Oh, art. I thought you said heart. Yeah, let's see art. Passion art. I'm not really feeling the inspiration here. What else can we do? Can we search a different word? Can we talk about it for a minute and then search a word? Yes, we can. Now, here's here's a tip for you guys. Does passion sound like a very broad word or a very specific word? Broad. broad. Okay. It is broad. So when we first search, we start broad, and then we narrow it in. We need to become more specific. And there's a reason why, because you might be surprised. This is an adventure. Uh, this is a journey. So if you type in four or five words, it's only going to come up with one thing. Mm. And you don't want to box yourself in just yet because I wasn't thinking about matches nor fire myself. Finding your passion. So if the definition was emotion, uncontrollable emotion, should we? But those are all broad words again. So let's see. Okay. I'm going to write something down here, you guys. 
here's a word that I'm going to help you guys with, okay? If you add one more word to this, can, what word would we add to, to kind of narrow the search a little bit? What word would we add? Finding. Huh? <laughs> Finding. You want to type in the entire search? <laughs> no, that's not the word I'm looking okay. for. Okay. Good try. Next. Um, passion. Jo for job. Job. What did Aaron say? Work passion. Work. No. Okay. We want, I, I'm not, okay, let me clarify. I realize your response tells me my question wasn't clear. Mm -hmm. We want to add another word on top of the word passion to narrow the search for the word passion. We're not trying to introduce another idea. Oh, okay. I got it. It's like a synonym, but that narrows it in a little bit more. Or something like that. How do we narrow this thing down? Okay. 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 Um, so wait, what, the th what was the thumbnail about again? So like, what was the video about? Finding your passion. And then, but we already saw the video. Like it had us. No, I just wrote the word passion. There were there was no illustration, so, metaphor. Or let's see. Like love. Okay, that's another synonym, right? Yeah, but then that kind of takes you more towards hearts and people mm -hmm. kissing and stuff. Passion, love. This image is interesting to me because this gets into surrealism, mm. where there's a strong yeah. silhouette of a female, and we've seen this done a thousand times. It's effective every single time I see it, and she's broken up. And what looks like to be a lot of rose petals or something. I don't know what it is. Uh, but this could be butterflies, something red and hearts or something. So combining two images, one deteriorating a bigger image into a smaller thing, it shows you what it is. So that's kind of cool. So I can borrow that idea right now. Okay. I can take, say, like a Wacom pen or a mouse or something that, or a paintbrush. And I can break up the paintbrush into little bits of hearts. Okay. So you see there's an idea here. Yeah. We just need to be able yeah. to see it. Here's the word I'm going to suggest you try. If you try the word passion concept, passion idea, passion metaphor, mm. oftentimes uh. that is the secret sauce. Okay. And for uh. that, I expect a donation, you guys. Let's try it. Passion, passion idea. Let's try yeah, write that. that in your notes for that. I am. Okay. So this one's not great. Okay. Oh. And there's a man. reason why, too. And I'm going to introduce the next little tip for you guys. <laughs> Sometimes Google is not a great place to find things because it's noisy on Google. So I'm going to go into. Shutterstock. We have an account on Shutterstock. They're not a sponsor of the show anymore, but I'm going to look for, let's try the same keywords, passion, idea. Now we get something different. Well, the matches again. It's, it's a little bit more curated. So one's burnt out there. That's interesting, a burnout. Mm. Okay. Another creative way to interpret a heart, passion, idea. Well, there's a knot here. Interesting. So the things that are pulling my eye into this is things that combine two things. There's a little unexpected moment. Here's another take on passion, and, and it's a heart cloud. Look at this. Art tube. There we go. Nice. Nice. They're okay. combining things. All right. Mm -hmm. They're connecting two things. So we all, I think, when I say all, most of us in this room and probably tuning in, like it when people combine two things together. This is what I talked about in terms of creativity. The ability to connect two disparate ideas, two unrelated ideas, and find a common thread. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So let's jot that down. Somebody has been paid and is incentivized to meta tag all their images and call them what they think it should be. They're also thinking about how you might find it in search words. So I'm going to go into this one right here. I'm going to click on this one with a tube. Tube of paint. Okay. And if I scroll down here. We're going to see all the words that they use to describe this thing. So I'm going to hit show more. Oh. Yeah, this is the, the art of search, my friend. It says red paint in the shape of a heart on white paper background, flat love concept. That's how they describe it. And then they started to do meta tags, paint, love, acrylic, concept, creative, heart, etc. So sometimes what you think the word that you're looking for, it's not the word that everybody thinks of. We want to find some other words. So sometimes these other words are more powerful. So I make a note like, oh, yeah, maybe it's like abstract passion. Oh. You don't know. Now, conversely, images on Google are indexed by their smart robots. They're spiders that crawl all over the Internet. And people generally just upload images and they don't do best practices for SEO. They're not paying attention. So they'll call the file 1-44-2A7B-42. So Google can only try to figure that out because they're not doing all the meta tag. So that's why the images on Google are a little bit messier in terms of their organization than, say, some site that actually profits from you being able to find the images. Okay? So that's how you search. Here's the other thing I want to remind you guys. 
The title of the show is called Finding Your Passion. We've only solved half the problem. Yeah. Finding your passion. So do we need to so add the finding like we're gonna, into... We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do a plus symbol. We would add this and we would just keep searching and searching and grabbing images and storing them somewhere and not thinking about whether or not it works or not. This is the critical part. The other tip that I give people is that they get too critical and they judge things too much. They we judge got, it. Hold on. They judge yeah. it too quickly. So all I want you to do is look at something. If it inspires you, if it's one eighth of an idea, you just grab it. It costs nothing to grab and save. Put in a bucket because you never know where that's going to lead you. Now look at this. As I stare at this image, let me see if I can go bigger on this image. There we go. You guys see this right here? Yes. So this is a tube of paint. It speaks about the artist. And then there's this thing, this blob, which is kind of organic and it's a heart shape. And I see in it these two reflections. It's window lit. It's beautiful lighting. But now my, my eye and my mind wanders a little bit. What if these reflections were like a reflection of you? Mm. Like a person That's looking good. back at it. Maybe there's something there. So then we can let our imagination go and play around with the, the reflections in the paint. So th that's an idea potentially. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, another really cool thing about Shutterstock is related images. So I, I was sneaking down here. I shouldn't have done that, but here we are. So now we have similar images. And these, for whatever reasons, they've determined through algorithms that they're most related to this thing. And so this is sometimes a great place to start looking as well. So this is where you can chase it down infinite rabbit holes and be inspired and look at things and use this as a creative partner. And the best part of this creative partner is you don't have to pay them one cent. They work for you 24 hours a day. There's no workers comp. They never take a vacation. They're here for you all the time. They're the best friend you never had. Now, the other thing I'll do is look at the same artist because sometimes certain artists have a very strong photographic style and a sensibility that I like. Mm. Now I'm looking at these images. Look at this. This is really cool. This might be combining like three images together now. So it's a, a chili the pepper, a yeah. chili pepper, which is hot, hot. passion. Mm -hmm. And then it's a tube of paint. And then it comes out like a heart. Mm. And then they had this leaf and the green there. This this person's kind of creative. I like yeah. it. So if we go and click on see all. This will open up a whole world of exploration too. Look at that. So there's some beautiful colors in here. I don't know what's going on yet, but I just scan images really quickly. I just scan about a rate like this. And if anything pops out, I stop, I look at it and I click on it and I keep going deeper. Now, this, this red chili pepper, I'm going to click on this image because it'll take us on a whole nother path. Again, I look at the words, right? Look at the okay. words in case you get a better word. And every once in a while, three or four searches in, you will find exactly what you want. There's some really like like I would have never started here with the the leaves surrounding this thing. That's also very beautiful. I need to add this to my box. <laughs> okay, so don't be afraid. Look at this balloon. This balloon uh, that's a pineapple. Cactus, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a cactus. Yes, it's not a pineapple. Pretty cool. Okay, you guys. This is the kind of stuff that I think can change your game if you don't really know how to use search and use it as a creative partner. And this is like a creative sounding board.